What in the world is diapodesis? Stay tuned to find out. Leukocyte extravasation, or diapodesis, is the process by which white blood cells are able to exit the blood vessel and enter the area where an infection is occurring. The white blood cells in your body are monocytes, which differentiate into macrophages and dendritic cells. The granulocytes, including eosinophils, basophils, and neutrophils, which contain granules, and lymphocytes, or the B and T cells. For this example of leukocyte extravasation, I will stick to neutrophils as an example. The blood in your body travels fast, so for the little neutrophil, it is like it is traveling on a speedy highway. Most arrive within the first hours of infection, but some are able to arrive in minutes. As the neutrophil gets closer to the infected area, the signal gets stronger. The cell uses this to determine that it needs to slow down. It starts to roll along the side of the blood vessel in an attempt to reduce its speed. It uses ligands, which are like grappling hooks, to stick to the selected molecules on the blood vessel. Once it has slowed down, it secures itself to the side of the blood vessel using integrins to help prevent the cell from being swept off. At this point, the chemical signals communicate to the cell to lock on for the next step. To go into a bit more detail about this, the rolling process that neutrophils undergo is known as rolling adhesion, and later when they lock on, that process is known as firm adhesion. The selectin on the neutrophil is known as L-selectin. You can remember that it is L for leukocyte. The selectins that are expressed by the epithelial cells that the neutrophil interacts with are E or P selectins. You can remember it as E for epithelial or P for peripheral selectins. These selectins are carbohydrates that can be sialylated or have sialic acid at the ends of the chains or fucosylated or have fucose sugars added. Once these selectins have bound, the neutrophil is able to slow down and stop. So the next step is firm adhesion. During firm adhesion, integrins CD11 or CD18 on the white blood cell binds to the ligand molecules ICAM on the epithelial cells. These molecules bind together more tightly than during rolling adhesion. It is important to note that tumor necrosis factor alpha or TNF alpha and interleukin 1 or IL1 cytokines released by activated sentinel cells increase the expression of the adhesion molecules and change the conformation of the integrins. This allows the integrins to bind tighter. Also, it is important to recognize that the cell is being drawn to this area due to the cytokines that are released from the infected area. The specific name for this process is chemotaxis as the white blood cell is moving towards a chemical signal. Once the cell has passed through the epithelium of the blood vessel, it will continue to move toward the infection and the cytokines that are being released. The neutrophil then squeezes itself between two cells of the blood vessel in order to get to the other side. process is known as leukocyte extravasation or diapodesis. There, it joins the battle in destroying bacteria and fungi. It is important to note that other leukocytes can undergo diapodesis as well. It is not limited to neutrophils. Feel free to ask me questions in the comment section and share with others. 
Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for regular updates. Thank you.